Hi, welcome to our video review for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today I'm going to review Splash Top Remote Desktop for the iPad. And uh, there's an iPhone version as well, but uh, I'm going to review on the iPad version because it's really, really fantastic. First, uh, I'll show you what this is. This is an iPad. If you can see, I'm actually mouse overing it. Um, let me go out of this application first and go in again. Okay, this is the uh, splash top remote desktop for the iPad and you can see the interface is just a simple computer uh, over here and the settings you can put the setting and the password and of course going to the advanced you can set what is the uh, resolution you want to open it up uh, I, I like the 1024 times 766 resolution which is the native iPad resolution but you can also uh, log in using the computer's native uh, resolution as well. Okay, let's uh, log in the remote desktop. Uh, a single tap is uh, a simple click, and if you click and hold, it's a right click. If you use a double finger tap, it's a mouse over, and uh, a, a double finger drag is a scroll, well, window scroll. A triple uh, finger drag is to scroll. The whole screen and a triple finger tap is to open up the controls. Okay, let's go through this uh, single tap. You can just tap it over and, and you can see it actually works. And let me see if I can zoom in using double finger. You can zoom in. Okay, I open up and uh, zoom out. Uh, triple finger is you can drag the screen around. Right, double finger you can scroll the screen up and down which is cool and of course tap is to activate the left click tap and hold is activate the right click which is very very good and uh, what the hints never show you is there is a little keyboard at the bottom right I'm not sure whether you can see that and you can actually spring out the keyboard and you can see there is the shift key control alternate command escape tap F1 to F12 up down left right delete and of course the the right thing, uh, right something here. Oh, so let me try the F11 whether it works now. Okay, let me try the F9. F9 works, Apple, F my expose works, so you can actually do expose in your Mac. There's one, one thing I haven't shown is the triple finger tap. Triple finger tap let you show you uh, how fast you are and uh, if your computer desktop in your computer have a dual screen, you can switch between the two screen uh, as and when you like. Uh, then another option is the, the the up and down left right control keys. This up down left right control keys is very good for playing certain games. But I wish the developer can add in custom uh, controls for uh, certain games that need the the alphabets to use as the up down left right okay let's uh, see if i can uh, do a full screen and i have to use a blue, I, basically i just blew myself well this is a full screen i've been waiting no all, there's no good way to say this. Uh, there's no good way to say this okay so you can see you can play videos and of course flash just to show you uh, that is really true. You can see that my my desktop is running the same thing as my iPad. Um, that means when you you remote access into your desktop using this flash top remote, uh, you you actually control and took over the control of your uh, desktop. But you still can use your mouse uh, if you are near your desktop to control the mouse. But if you are not near the the uh, desktop, you can always control the mouse using your finger. It's a PPTV, it's a video. Oh, this is the 
Overall, this application is definitely a must-have for people who want to uh, remote access their desktop at home while they are away in the holidays or in a coffee shop. They want to use um, probably use 3G or 4G network to connect, but I recommend to use Wi-Fi to connect to their home desktop. Uh, while this not only just deliver mo uh, stream the videos out, but also stream the audio into your iPad as well. So it's definitely highly recommended and it's relatively affordable compared to the rest of the remote desktop apps. Right, so basically that's all for this review. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. See ya, bye bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.